what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. How do you feel about reality stars coming into Hollywood, taking jobs of like actors who've been in the game for years or just even if they just got in the game, but they went to school, they're trained and reality stars coming in, taking a job. And I'm talking about specifically the kind that can't really act. Well, how I feel about that is, are you talking about reality stars or are you talking about rappers? <laughs> well, I'm, well, I'm talking about reality stars because I know rappers was one thing, you know, but I guess rappers are going to be that persistent uh, thorn in the side, but Lately, you know, reality uh, stars have been taking up some of those, taking some of those jobs away from those trained actors. Well, reality stars usually work on reality stuff. So like love and hip hop and all that kind of stuff. I very seldom see them like in movies or film or, or actual sitcoms or dramas like that. So that's mm -hmm. why I was trying to clarify with you. Like, what did you exactly mean? Did you mean like more like how Kim Kardashians and keeping up with the Kardashians and growing up hip hop and all that stuff? That's like different than being on like grown. Yeah, up. yeah. I'm not talking. I'm talking about those people using those platforms to launch their film careers. I I, I haven't really seen it like that. I I, I you had to give me an example because I haven't really seen it. Well, DC Young Fly is one. DC Young Fly He's comes from DC Young Fly, Insta you mean Instagram? Well, that's, yeah, that's Instagram. Yeah, that's, um, well, yeah, even with Instagram, you got, you got people that's coming from Instagram that, that, that's doing it. Now, DC Young Fly can act, so that's yeah. a little different. Yeah, you know? I like DC Young Fly. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't mind it, but however you can get in, like, this is a new platform. It's a new, a new way to show who you are, you know what I mean? Right. Like, who would ever thought me you could be on um, we talking like, like like we on TV together right now. Like whoever thought we could do this, right? <laughs> you know what I mean. So you got to take your platform and do the best you can with it. We just didn't have. What could you imagine, Willie? If we had this when we was coming up, could you imagine if we had social media when we was doing the stuff that we were doing? Come on, man. Wow. Say, man. You know, I often think of that, and I kind of like. I've always viewed social media as a blessing and a curse. It's beautiful that people who may have been, uh, I guess, withdrawn. Some people, you got people out there that have, and I'm, and I'm talking about like social media on a rudimentary level. Now I'm not talking about using social media for fame. I'm talking about just using social media just to communicate with the outside world. Right. There are a lot of people that have been withdrawn and social media gives them some type of uh, a sense of kinship where they can, talk to people and feel like they got somebody that's listening to them, right? Right. Uh, and they don't have to go out there and worry about what they look like and, you know, what they sound like or what they have, you know, how they're dressed and all that kind of stuff. I always thought it was cool for that, for that right. reason. But right. of course, you know, like people have taken it and began to troll and using it for bad reasons. But I do like the fact that you can use social media and it, it can level the playing field yeah, with, exactly. with, people, with people who don't have those major platforms, uh, who don't have the big name. Right. You don't have, we don't have to, you don't have to get a show on, you don't have to be on ABC, NBC, CBS, or one right. of the major cable networks uh, to have millions right. of followers now. Right. You know, you can log in to Instagram or YouTube and work your, you know, work your jelly and have free advertisement and all of that stuff, and it'd be right. your own platform. Right. So that, that's the beauty of it. That's what I right. like about it. Right. What I want to ask you about your your time in the game as far as uh, the things that you've learned and what it is that you would pass on to aspiring actors. Like you've been in the game for a long time. You've had your ups and downs, your, your you know, your valleys and, and, and your, and your, and your peaks. And, but with all of that, cause you mentioned some of that stuff, you know, in this interview today, right. With all of this, how have you been able to maintain? Because there are people that have been to the mountaintop like you have, and once they come down, you know, came down, yeah. 
to earth a little bit, though they couldn't cope. So a lot of them started drugging out, you know, right. put a, put, right. put, a, put exactly. a bullet through their head, hung themselves and all kinds of things. How is it that you've been able to remain sane, you know, du during these times? Two things. Yeah. Um, one, I never drank and I never smoked in my life, ever. I never had one drink. I never had one smoke in my life. So I've always... I've always looked at things like shit. It's just, it's. I just know what life is. I, I never lost a sense of what life really is. Right. And I just always been competitive. I'm like, nigga, I don't give a fuck, nigga. I'm, a, nigga, I'm gonna get mine. I don't give a fuck if it take a hundred years. Never give up. I just, I'm just gonna keep going. I don't give a fuck. You right. Know, I just kept that attitude, like, nigga, you gotta keep going. It don't matter. And I said, when it, when the time, when the right time come, I'm gonna be ready. I stay, I never, like I said, I never drink, never smoke, always worked out. I've always stayed ready, always stay prepared. You know what I mean? And, and, and what I've learned is learn how to write, learn how to produce, learn how to do other things to create your own avenues. That's what um, uh, Tyler Perry and Marlon Wayans and all those guys, you, you got to figure that out. Don't just always say, oh, I'm going to work in somebody else's movie. You got to be creating your own thing. You got to learn how to package and, and, Hey, Lorenz, what's up, man? Let's, why don't me and you get together? Because me and Lorenz together is a package. It's like, okay, now we just need to get a script. Mm -hmm. so there's certain things that you have to learn. I would pay for that. To see you and Lorenz side by side again <laughs> in a movie. Right. I don't even have, all I got to do is hear about it. And right. I, and, I'm, and I'm instantly interested. Right. right. That's something. You got something there. If y'all can work that out, man, that'd be good for the culture. Not, not, not to mention your pocketbook, you know what I'm talking right. about? <laughs> Beautiful. Man, I want to thank you for, for joining us on this, man. You you imported a lot of wisdom. And I think some people are going to be able to learn from, you know, the information that you gave up. Because that's what right. I really be trying to do. I don't, I don't like do these interviews to be nosy. I, I try to, you know, provide that information, you know. So I really do appreciate you, man, for taking your time out. Right. I appreciate you, Will, and I, like I say, I got the Rico Act pod, podcast coming with me and um, my co-host Arjun Lachelle. We got a, that, that's my co-host, so we got that coming. And um, man, I appreciate it, Will. Man, and a lot of people don't know Will that that Floyd Mayweather. Did you ever? Did you ever? Um, did you and Floyd ever uh, uh, box? Did he ever show you some shit when he was out there? When, when, when was that rap a lot or no? No, he just he told me one thing. He said. Uh, uh, let me, let, me, let me see, how did he phrase it? Uh, he said, uh, the, the idea is, uh, I think he said something like, the idea is to not get hit. That's what he said. Something along right. those lines, like, don't get hit. You know? Right. And, and, and it worked out, you know, because he, he told me this when he was only like maybe 20, 23 fights deep. Right, because like, no, oh. everybody, people don't know Will got hands. Niggas don't even yeah. know that. Everybody yeah. don't know you can box. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me see. I'm <laughs> <my> bad. <laughs> it's all good, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Let's shop it up soon, man. Okay, and, man. And, and, and I'm, I'm going to stay close to your, to your IG so I can I can be all over that okay. Rico Act. That's a good okay. name, too. That's That fits that right? fits perfectly. Yeah. Rico Act Podcast, yep. Rico Act Podcast. Y'all make sure y'all click on the link right here. And, and give Tyron a follow. You dig what I'm saying? Until next time, family, no more talk. All right, appreciate it. What, what the ladies talking about?